China's Chip Material Breakthrough China's photoresist 20 years behind Japan? Why Japan dares not cut off supply? The semiconductor industry is buzzing. On one side, Japan's Sankey Shimbun is loudly declaring with an industry report. China's photoresist is at least two decades behind. The headline, bold and enlarged, radiates an air of absolute certainty. On the other side, a friend from a Chinese wafer fab quietly shared an email screenshot. The sender? A sales manager from Japanese photoresist giant JSR, whose tone was decidedly polite. Supply is fine, but the cost of raw materials has recently risen. Could you avoid squeezing the price too hard? First, they loudly threatened a complete supply cut to choke off China's semiconductor lifeline. Then, they rushed to maintain cooperation. This dizzying reversal might leave you confused. Does Japan genuinely have the upper hand? Or is it all just an act? The High Precision Ink Line Monopoly Let's demystify photoresist. Think of chip manufacturing as building a house. The lithography machine is the excavator, and the photoresist is the high-precision chalk line. No matter how advanced the excavator is, it can't dig a compliant foundation without the chalk line. What Japan controls is the formula for this. High-precision ink line. Globally, 90% of high-end photoresist comes from Japanese companies. But here's the game-changer. The very day the Japanese media's two decades behind report went viral, industry insiders were circulating a TSMC testing report. The protagonist was a new Chinese company, Wuhan Taizawai. There are photoresists not only adapted to the 14 nanometers FinFET process, but also past TSMC's most stringent. 72-hour continuous lithography stability test. Line width errors were controlled within 30 cents backslash text, nanometers, dollar, and the yield rate soared to 92%. Just in 2022, contracts for domestic wafer fabs had to include the crippling clause of direct supply from the Japanese original manufacturer without even the right to replace the brand. In just three years, China is not only producing it but also passing the assessment of the world's top chip foundry. This speed, it's not just unexpected by the Japanese media. A former senior TSMC engineer publicly stated in a forum that it exceeded expectations. This is not two decades behind. It's a speed run to overtake. Unmasking Japan's monopoly, a U.S. handout. Let's uncover the source of Japan's monopoly confidence. Japan's photoresist dominance is not a legend of self-made achievement. It is essentially a product fed by the U.S. We need to trace this back to the fierce U.S.-Japan semiconductor war four decades ago. In the 1980s, Japanese semiconductors were formidable. Toshiba's drum chips accounted for 40% of the global market. Hitachi's microprocessors nearly drove Intel out of the chip business. In 1987, Japan held six spots in the world's top 10 semiconductor companies, with a total market share that soared to 53%, crushing U.S. enterprises. The U.S. was furious. In 1986, citing Toshiba selling precision machine tools to the Soviet Union, the U.S. forced Japan to sign the Semiconductor Assurance Agreement. The terms were absurd, mandatory public disclosure of chip manufacturing technology export price restrictions, and acceptance of U.S. personnel for on-site factory inspections. In 1987, they directly imposed a 100% punitive tariff, effectively blocking half of Japan's semiconductor exports. In just 10 years, Japan's global semiconductor share dropped from its peak to 6% by 2019. Toshiba's semiconductor business was spun off, and Hitachi sold its chip business to Lenovo. But here is the interesting point. U.S. suppression deliberately avoided the chemical materials sector. At the time, the U.S. focus was on chip design and manufacturing equipment, believing that chemical trinkets, like photoresist, had no strategic value. Japanese companies were implicitly allowed to consolidate resources. JSR immediately acquired three small local chemical companies, integrating the photoresist needs of chip makers. Tokyo Okakogio. TOK, aligned closely with Toyota and Sony, customizing formulas for Japanese chip production lines. 
These companies use the gap left by the U.S. to turn photoresist into a secret weapon. Japan's current courage to use it as a choke point is merely capitalizing on the leftovers from America's selective appetite back then. Japan's technical hegemony is never purely natural, but a geopolitical leftover asset. The U.S., in protecting its own semiconductor industry, selectively preserved Japan's material advantage, which has now become a tool for Japan to constrain others. This serves as a reminder to China. Any technological monopoly has its Achilles heel. Seemingly unbreakable walls often hide historical bugs, and this is precisely China's point of breakthrough. The ASML and Siemens lesson, why Japan can't afford to stop. Examining Europe's lessons helps us understand Japan's current dilemma. The Netherlands ASML is the global lithography machine giant, but it has a fatal flaw. It cannot operate without Japanese photoresist. In 2023, ASML attempted to collaborate with Germany's BASF to develop its own photoresist, investing $2 billion in R&D. Three years later, they haven't even stabilized KRF photoresist. Data shows that 85% of the European photoresist market relies on Japanese imports, a worse situation than China's. More ironically, when the US imposed semiconductor export controls last year to force European companies to choose sides, Germany's Siemens immediately objected. Why? More than half of their automotive chip production lines use Japanese photoresist and Chinese wafer foundry services. Europe's predicament is a hard blow against the technological decoupling narrative. ASML's lithography machine is scrap metal without Japanese photoresist, and a German Volkswagen automotive chip line loses $20 million for every day it stops. If Japan truly halts supply, ASML's inventory of lithography machines will pile up, the German auto industry will lose over $8 billion annually, and ultimately, Japanese companies' orders will be forcefully reinstated by European customers. In this interwoven supply chain, choking others only harms oneself. Naturally, Japan only dares to shout but not act. China's breaking speed, beyond Japan's imagination. The speed of China's breakthrough has exceeded Japan's wildest imagination. Before 2024, the domestic self-sufficiency rate for high-end photoresist was less than 5%. Now, the scene is completely different. Ace-Hen Technologies' PSBI photoresist has broken the decade-long U.S.-Japan monopoly and is entering small-batch production. Rachem's KRF photoresist domestic market share has soared to 30%, securing a $120 million major order from Huahang Semiconductor. Wuhan Taizawai is even more aggressive, directly tackling the core formula for EUV photoresist achieving an ultimate resolution of $120 backslash text, nanometers, dollar. These are not lab figures. They are realized mass production orders, moving three times faster than Japan's pursuit of the U.S. decades ago. China's breakthrough is never a single-point advance. It is a comprehensive, whole-industry-chain collaborative approach. Ace Hen technology not only makes photoresists but also self-develops and produces the core raw material the photo initiator, eliminating external dependency. Rachem directly integrated into ASML's lab for joint process calibration and adaptation. This sand to finished product layout is precisely the short-sightedness of Japan, which focused only on finished products and abandoned the upstream. The Japanese media crying two decades behind is frankly the panic of a master watching his apprentice overtake him. The U.S. pressure backfires. Ironically, the latest actions by the U.S. have greatly helped China. In December 2024, the U.S. placed 136 Chinese semiconductor companies, including Nanda Optoelectronics and Shanghai Esching, on the entity list, aiming to completely sever the supply chain. The result? China's integrated circuit exports for the first 11 months surpassed 1 trillion yuan, an increase of 20.3% year-on-year. Furthermore, China counter-restricted the export of gallium and germanium to the U.S. The U.S. Geological Survey estimates this will directly cost their semiconductor industry $3.4 billion. Just like the U.S. suppression of Japan, external pressure has become a catalyst for China's technological breakthrough. The U.S. is making the same mistake it made before, 
forcing China onto the path of independent R&D. Japan bowed to U.S. pressure and abandoned a complete industry chain layout, but China is determined to root its efforts in the areas where it is being choked. Now, domestic photoresist companies' R&D investment consistently exceeds 10%. Ace Hen Technologies' R&D investment increased by 40% in the first three quarters alone. This determination is the key to breaking the deadlock. We must admit there is still a gap in EUV photoresist, but Japan's advantage is rapidly shrinking. The global EUV photoresist market grows by 25% annually, but Japanese companies' capacity cannot keep up. The gap is projected to reach 30% by 2025. Chinese companies are seizing this opportunity. Nanda Optoelectronics R Photoresist is already compatible with SMIC's 14 nanometers production line, with domestic self-sufficiency breaking 20%. Crystal Clear Materials KRF Photoresist net profits surged 939% year-on-year, with orders booked until the second half of next year. The days of Japan relying on monopoly for excessive profits are truly numbered. The biggest fear of technological monopoly is the latecomer advantage. Japanese photoresist companies are resting on their laurels, with R&D investment declining year after year. Chinese companies are catching up with higher investment and faster iteration. Just as smartphones eliminated feature phones, not because feature phones were bad, but because new players brought a more efficient way of playing, China is now using a new industrial ecosystem to break the old monopoly. The Japanese media's cry of two decades behind is essentially an anxiety. They have seen how the U.S. destroyed competitors, and now they fear history repeating itself with them. China is proving with actions that so-called technological barriers are merely tools to scare away the faint-hearted. From Ace Hin Technologies Lab to TSMC's production line, from Wuhan's R&D center to the global supply chain, China's photoresist breakthrough is happening in every corner.